Welcome to our online class organized by Dr. Khastagir Government Girls High School. Let me introduce myself. I am Tauhid Armana, Assistant Teacher English, Dr. Khastagir Government Girls High School, Chattogram. Now, Hello, dear students. How are you? Hope you are fine and well. I am also fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. I hope everything is going well and fine with you. Now, I want to start my class today. Today, my class is for the students of class 10. And I will take class on English for today. Dear students, today uh, we are going to uh, learn about a very much important topic and interesting and important also. Let's see. Uh, can you guess the um, title of our lesson today? Here is a picture. Look at the picture very much carefully. Uh, here are some uh, people. Uh, what are they doing? What do you think? They are um, performing a drama, but they are not in, uh, in usual dress. They, their outfit is somewhat, somewhat different from usual. They, their face is uh, painting with white color. They are wearing gloves and uh, they, are, they are wearing a t-shirt and a black pant. They, these people are holding their hands together and uh, they want to show uh, something to the audience by uh, only by moving their limbs and by uh, their facial facial movement. Okay, so uh, can you tell me? It is uh, why I'm telling you this is one kind of art. Can you tell me the name of this art? Yes, this is mime. It means the art of silence. This is an art, but uh, the performer perform without making any sound. That's why it is called the art of silence. And today, the topic of our lesson is the art of silence. It is from unit seven, lesson two. Today's lesson is People Who Stand Out, Unit 7, Lesson 2, The Art of Silence. Look at the picture. Do you know who is the pioneer of mime in Bangladesh? Let's see. Here is two picture. Are the same person? What do you think? Of course, these two person is same. He is in uh, his natural outfit and he is in somewhat different outfit. What is the name of this person? Can you tell me? He is Partha Pratim Mojundar. See, he is, uh, his uh, outfit is somewhat different and he is, uh, take, he has taken makeup. His face is uh, painted in white color, okay? And he is well-fitted, uh, well-fitted and strong because 
it's important to have a responsive and uh, expressive body to make on stage movements fluid and natural. Now, learning outcomes. Dear students, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe the life and contribution of Parthapurati Mujumdar, scan and scheme through the text for particular information, apply some keywords from the text, write a summary of the text. Uh, these are some important words and their meanings. These are the key words of this lesson. We now, we are going to learn the meaning of these words. Our first word is vocal cords. This is a noun and its meaning is vocal folds or, or voice reads. Then gesture, this is a noun. It means signal or sign. Evolve, this is verb. It means to develop gradually. Then forerunner, this is an adjective. It means harbinger or pioneer. Our next word is solo. This is also an adjective. It means single or lone. Next word, legendary maestro means an eminent master, usually in an art. Next word, enthusiastically. This is an adjective. It means willingly. Our next word, gener, it is a noun, means form. These are some important words and their meaning. Um, if the meaning of these words will help you to understand our coming text uh, very much easy and comfortably you can understand the meaning of the text properly. Let's start our lesson. Lesson two. The art of silence. Two pictures are here. These are the pictures of Parthapratim Mojundar when he is performing mime. Section A, look at the above pictures of Parthapratim Mojundar, work in pairs and discuss the following questions. So as this is a virtual class, it is not possible for you to take part and do pair works. So you have to do the work individually. Uh, let's see the question first. Number one, what is Parthapurti Mojumdar doing in the two pictures? You can easily say that, what is he doing? He is performing mime, isn't it? Now, Number two, uh, and uh, in picture number one, uh, what is he doing? Uh, in the first picture, he keeps his two fingers into his mouth. Uh, we can say that uh, in a way that um, he was going to shoot himself. Okay, isn't it? Yes, then in picture number two, what is he doing? He seems to be showing any number. He seems to be showing any number. Now, question number two, describe his facial expression. Um, now, uh, what can we say? 
uh, uh, he seems to be middle-aged but fit and strong uh, then he has taken uh, makeup on his face uh, the color of his face is white he is uh, wearing a special kind of uh, dress generally used in mime uh, i want to say something uh, the mime artist uh, paint their face in white color because there is a special reason behind this because the purpose of the white face uh, uh, is to help the audience be able to see the performer from far away and the designs on the face helped uh, uh, bring the character to life and uh, express emotion without words okay uh, then uh, we can say that um, his uh, hair is well brushed and his hair is medium sized and well brushed now next dear students it is in page number 95 uh, I think you have already opened your book. It is section B. Read the text and choose the correct answer. I am reading out the text for you now. Before the beginning of human language, communication took place between humans through signs and gesture. As humans began to use their vocal cords, I have underlined uh, the keywords here that we have already learned. Uh, we have to memorize the meaning here. What is the meaning of vocal cord? We have already known it. Vocal cord means vocal fold, folds or voice reads. And a gesture means signals or signs. Vocal cords, the uh, vocal cords, these silent gestures were no longer used as the primary means of communication, but these did not completely disappear. They evolved as a form of art, which came to be known as mime. Uh, we have learned the meaning of evolve. Uh, what does it mean? Can you remember? It means to develop gradually now second para in a bangladeshi village a little boy came to know about mime as he watched a performance in his village he was so fascinated by the show that he was determined to master this art the name of that little boy was parthoprati mojumdar mojumdar is undoubtedly a forerunner in the field of mime in Bangladesh. Forerunner means harbinger or pioneer. He started as a musician and his keen sense of rhythm helped him to let his limbs move and express his thoughts through gestures. Parthapratim Mojumdar is the first Bangladeshi to take up mime as a profession. He performed in a number of television shows in Bangladesh and gained popularity. In his mimes, Mojumdar depicted the day-to-day -day life of the people, their sadness, tears, as well as their happiness and laughter. Uh, here is an important uh, information. Uh, before Parthapati Mojumdar, uh, nobody uh, uh, takes mime as a profession. He is the first one who takes mime as a profession. Our next slide. 
Majumdar's turning point came in 1979 when he was asked to give a solo performance at Bangladesh Shilpakala Academy. Shilpa, uh, sorry, solo means uh, uh, lone or single. Then the French ambassador to Bangladesh at the time, Mr. Loic Mario happened to be among the audience. Mr. Mario noticed the talent in Majumdar. In 1981, the French government offered him a scholarship so that he could get professional training in MIME. This was the first time that a student was granted a French scholarship in MIME. Mojumdar started his training under the legendary maestro. Uh, what, what, what is the meaning of legendary maestro? We have learned already uh, a, people, a man or a person who is eminent in an art, uh, who is eminent in, especially in an art. Attain the crux through the uh, crux he met another celebrated mime artist named Marcel Marcio. Marcio has transformed modern mime by taking it to an unimaginable imaginable height. Marcio was very impressed by the young Bangladeshi talent and offered him a place in his school for mime named Ecole International de My Modram the Paris. Marcel Marcel. This mime school is the biggest and the best in the world. During his three year training, training period, Majumdar practiced 16 to 18 hours daily till each and every bone in his body would feel like breaking. The remaining portion of our text, it is in page number 96 in your textbook. After his time with Marcio, there was no looking back for Majumdar. He staged solo performances in England, Belgium, Germany, Spain, Italy, and the USA. French, Canadian, and American TV channels enthusiastically aired his shows. So what is the meaning of enthusiastically? We have already known it. It means uh, willingly. And here is another word uh, aired. This uh, means, uh, it means uh, broadcast, okay? And this is not wind, this is broadcast a program. In 2009, a French play featuring Mujundar won the Malayar, Malayar Award, which is the highest this distinction in the French theater. As a pioneer of the art of mime in Bangladesh and for popularizing the artistic genre. Uh, here is another word, uh, popularizing. It means uh, to make a lot of people know. Uh, uh, that means uh, publicize, we can say publicize. The artistic genre, genre means form, Bangladesh government honored the artist with the Ekushe Padok in 2010. The government of French has also honored him for his contribution to the art of mime throughout the world with one of the highest cultural awards of France titled Civilia de Order des Arts et des Letters means Knight in the Order of Arts and 
letters in the year 2011. Here is a source. Uh, the text is uh, has taken from this. Uh, the important important information um, has been taken from this source. Well, we have completed reading our text. Now we have to do some activity. This is um, activity. This is an activity. We have to do the activity. This is choose the best answer. Before the use of speech, communication took place through language uh, written, uh, sorry, uh, through uh, dash language, written, sign, spoken, art. Here I have uh, chosen it, the best answer for you. Here we have to put sign here, sign language. Before the use of speech, communication took place through sign language. Number two, in what form have the silent gestures evolved into drama, cinema, mime, dance? Our answer will be mime. Number three, in olden times, the actors who performed mime used to put white paint on their limbs, body, face, hair. We know that the answer will be face. We have already known about this from our text. Number four, the word fascinated in the second paragraph of the text means Enchanted, encouraged, silenced, upset. It is enchanted. Fascinated means enchanted. Moving to my next slide. Now it is section C. It is in page number 97. Read the text in B again. Say if the following statements are true or false. If false, give the correct information. Our first sentence is the ancient Egyptian arts shows that people at that time interacted with one another so, science, what do you think? Is it uh, right or wrong? It is, what do you think? It is right. Because in olden times, uh, in Egypt, in olden times, People mm, interacted with one another through science. Because at that time, they did not know how to use language or vocal cords to express their uh, feelings to each other. It is true. Number two, in ancient times, human used a few words as the primary means of interaction. It is, uh, it is false, of course it is false. Because from our text, uh, we have already got the information in ancient times, uh, the correct information will be in ancient times, human used signs and gestures as the primary means of interaction. They did not use any word at that time. Number three, Parthapruti Mojumdar is among the first few who performed mime in Bangladesh. 
uh, this is false. The correct information is Parthapratim Mujumdar is the pioneer in the field of mime in Bangladesh. Okay, now number four, the turning point in Mujumdar's life was when he performed at Bangladesh Shilpakola Academy. It is true. Now, number five, Marcel, Mar uh, Marcel Marcio's School of Mime is in Barcelona. It is false because uh, Marcel Mar uh, Marcio's School of Mime is in France. It is not in Barcelona. Okay, let's uh, check our answer. Yes, the first one is true. The second one is false. And the correct information is, in ancient times, human used signs and gestures as the primary means of interaction. Uh, number three is false. The correct information is, Patkambhuti Mujumdar is the pioneer in the field of mime in Bangladesh. Number four is true. And number five is false and the correct information is Marcel Marcius school of uh, mine is in France. Now next activity, this is activity D, read the text in B again and write answers to the questions. You have to read the text in your book again and Try to uh, answer this question. Our first question is, what is mime? Second one is, what helped Majumdar to express himself clearly while performing mime? Number three, what did he depict through his performance at the beginning? Number four, why was the French ambassador impressed when he saw Mojumdar's performance. Number five, describe the awards in art and culture that Mojumdar received. Why were they given to him? These are the questions that you have to answer after reading the text, okay? Uh, Dear students, I have prepared the answer for you here. You can check the answer with me. Your answer could be different, uh, uh, but um, uh, the main theme will be the same. Here, what is mime? The answer is, mime is an art of sign and gestures. It is a silent performance which needs keen sense of expression. Okay, this is what is uh, mime? Mime, uh, it is an art of talking without using vocal sound. And uh, what the mime artist do? The mime artist uh, tell, uh, the mime artist tell us a story by showing their uh, gesture. Uh, we can mm, understand their happiness, uh, sorrow, anger, uh, envy by seeing their expression. Okay. Number two. What happened uh, helped Mojumda to express himself clearly while performing mime? Let's see the answer. The keen sense of rhythm helped Mojumdar to express himself clearly while performing mime. Okay. Mojumdar uh, ha has a keen sense of uh, rhythm uh, because mm, he was uh, uh, 
uh, he was uh, started because he started as a, a musician at first he uh, started his career as a musician that's why he has a keen sense of rhythm which is very essential for performing mime number c what did he depict through his performance at the beginning let's see through his performance at the beginning he depicted the day-to-day -day life of the people uh, they depicted their sadness their tears their happiness laughter everything okay now Number uh, four, why was the French ambassador impressed when he saw Mojumdar's performance? Here is the answer. The then French ambassador had attended a solo performance of Mojumdar at Bangladesh Shilpokola Academy. By noticing his uh, talent in mime, the French ambassador became very much impressed. Our last question, describe the awards in art and culture that Mojumdar received. Why were they given to him? Here's the answer. In 2009, Mojumdar won the highest distinction in the French theater, the Molière Award, for his outstanding role in French drama. In 2010, he won the highest award of Bangladesh, Ekushe Padok, as a pioneer of the art of mime and for popularizing the artistic genre. In 2011, he won one of the highest cultural awards of France, Sibelia the Order des Arts et these letters for his contribution to the art of mime throughout the world. Okay, uh, this answer is, uh, is, uh, is a little bit lengthy, but you have to mention the year and his achievement uh, and his achievement. That's why it is somewhat lengthy. Okay, I have finished in the uh, showing you the answer of these questions um, i hope you will read your text and try to write down the answer yourself and then match your answer with me i have already come at the end of our lesson i want to give you a homework uh, here is your homework Write a short description of Parthapradeep Mojumdar. Uh, you can find out all of his, about all, all his information in this text. So, dear girls, read the text very much carefully and then write a short description of Parthapradeep Mojumdar, the eminent mime artist. Uh, okay. Dear students, I would like to uh, give thank you to you and uh, like to tell you, uh, take care of yourself and as well as all the members of your family and study regularly and perform your prayers. Okay, goodbye. See you in our in my next class